Why are cars so ex Oh, shit! Okay, you guys actually did it. That's kind of tight. You actually did it? That's kind of tight. I, I didn't think you'd be there. I didn't think you'd do it like that. Kind of pog, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, kind of pog. Why are cars so expensive? They do the same thing they did 100 years ago, but the price keeps going up and up and up. I think it's because auto manufacturers keep- Is that true? Price of Ford Model T in 2022. The Ford Model T was eight fifty when it was introduced, uh, adjusted for inflation. That's nearly twenty five thousand dollars. That's not too dissimilar from today's prices. Honestly, it's not too dissimilar. It's kind of on par. Average price is twenty nine k, so it's gone up a bit. That's fair. Stop adjusting for inflation, though. <laughs> Just Giga Chad, don't adjust at all. No, it was eight fifty. Stop the conversation right there. Keep adding new parts that we don't need just so they can charge us more money. An $18 a month subscription to use the heated seats that are already installed in your car? That is genius. You are engineering gods, BMW. Who, how did real? you come up with such a good idea? And do we really need lane sensing technology? Sure, it might save a couple hundred lives per year, but I'd rather save a couple hundred bucks buying a car. And don't even get me started on doors. The doors come off of this, yeah, right? Yeah, all of them. They just pop off, though? Yeah, the doors all come off. But it is totally legal to drive without the doors yeah, off. Yeah, of course. How much less does the car cost if I buy it without any of the doors? Oh, it comes with it, unfortunately. Oh, like, you can't. Someone should build a better... Dude, you know what's fucked up is is if you ever buy a car and you go to a, a car s s station... What do you call those things? A car lot? A dealership. They sell cars, sometimes a huge fucking scam, with protective stickers. That's all, they, they're virtually just see-through stickers. And they slap them on like the door handle and like places where you will touch a lot. And like, it's like totally scratch proof. And they're like a few hundred dollars. And a lot of the dealerships would be like, can I just buy it without the fucking stickers? And they're like, no. No, oh, it comes with them. You need the stickers. It's insane. Your car. A car that is just the bare minimum. An inexpensive transportation device that doesn't do all the extra. So I did some research and it, it turns out building a car is really hard. I think it might be a smarter idea to tackle this problem from the other direction. But there's one problem. I don't have enough room in my garage for an experiment of this scale. So I rented a parking lot, hired an elite team of scientists, and bought two cars. Have you ever done any drag races in this car? Yeah. You put it in gear and floor it, you know. <laughs> How many parts can we take off the car before it stops working? You can, you can remove a lot of parts. With confidence I had made the right decision, <laughs> and thousands of dollars in the hole, it was time for my team of scientists to start building the car of the future. Where's Average people are the worst salesmen on earth. They just say anything at all. They just lie until you buy the thing. It's not even being a salesman at that point. You're just a fucking liar. They just sit there and they're like, yeah, you, you remove anything. It's great. No, nah, it runs really well. You're not even selling me. You're just lying. Like a salesman? No, because they... It's my call. Are artists in top G's. <laughs> Who cares? Sold the car. <laughs> How did you get in there? Oh, you, have you been in there since last night? Michael! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forgot. And by car of the future, I mean cars of the future. But no, seriously, I'm still traumatized from Mr. Beast's sport game, so I got two cars just in case something happens to one of them. We didn't have to hit each other. We gotta strategize. I don't really know what kind of strategy yet. What's our team name? Um, what's cool and, like, uh... Uh, pussy getters. Car related. What's the uh, heaviest oh. thing in a car? Uh, pussy getters. The engine. The engine. Oh, the gas. Uh, hot rods. Any, oh, any the sunroof. We definitely any don't need the roof. The ghost of Vin Diesel. <laughs> of Paul Walker. Oh, right, right, right. The ghost of Paul Rudd. <laughs> Come on, man. Vinny and the Diesels. Yeah, I Come like on. It's kind of badass. Are you guys strategizing? Uh, no. Coming up with a team name. You guys ready? Oh my god. Oh my god. And you're trying you're like doing a boxing match? You can't even break a car window? <laughs> Fuck.
<laughs> is that before the boxing match? Is that how old this is? Well, let's do another take. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. There's, only, there's only a couple rules. Don't break the front windshield and leave at least one side mirror. Google told yep. me that's what's legally required to drive. But other than that, the scientist's goal is to remove as many parts as possible. We already know doors serve no purpose. It's not like you're going to fall out if you're wearing a seatbelt. And does anyone actually know what a hood yes! is for? All right, get rid of that. Does it protect the engine? Does it increase aerodynamics? Or is it just an excuse for them to charge more money? You know, it's actually not that bad of an idea like driving my vespa around i don't have shit i don't have a hood i don't have a door all right i got a side mirror i got a couple fucking wheels and i got a seat that's it me and alan go way back to the early tungsten cube video days we've uh hung up three times in real life ever but through his youtube channel i know him very well he doesn't know shit about me though Yes! You know where they put their socket wrench? I'm gonna go buy Sun Tzu Art of War. I'm gonna take the resources. Uh, oh yeah, it's it's halfway removed. Look at that. There we go. Dude, we oh, hit yeah. money. We hit money. Look at this. Oh, a huge loss. It slowly dawned upon me that I had not rented the parking lot long enough because I spent all the money on the cars and brand new power tools. And now we're running out of time. I'm not trying to say we used our time efficiently. I'm just trying to come up with a good transition to talk about the sponsor of today's video. I love William Osman videos because I always think there's going to be like a sick scientific method and he's going to like slowly remove the parts in one by one and try to drive with them removed. And then, he, and then he's just like, ah, no, fuck it. And then he just smashes shit. Legend. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh, a weekly meal delivery service that Caretaker and I have been yeah. for two years Hello, now. Today's Fresh. meal we're going to cook is Firehouse Cheeseburgers. All 10 ingredients for this meal are organized and pre-portioned. If you don't like beef, replace it with ground Never turkey. Use if you don't like turkey, Fresh. get rid of it and replace it with cat meat. They even have cat Chat, we're not going to skip. All right, for watching the video, we have to watch the sponsor. It's part of the rules. It's respectful. Prezzo said HelloFresh treats their employees like shit. He works for cold ones. <laughs> we were he has to drink 13 VBs every time he edits one video. And all of a sudden, HelloFresh is going too far? Eating out way too much. And that's like, it's unhealthy, it's expensive. And I do like cooking. It's just very, I don't want to say intimidating, but it's a lot of work. HelloFresh is a huge convenience and it has stopped us from eating out because once the food shows up to the house, we have to cook it. The prep I think HelloFresh had a lot of controversy because they were anti-union and then they created a spin-off company called Factor, which then sponsored a lot of people. And that's like a slightly different one where you don't cook the food and it's pre-made. I've been sponsored by neither, but I've eaten a bunch of Factor meals and they're pretty fucking good, so. Time for this meal is 10 minutes and cook time is 35 minutes. I don't know if they're still union busting. Is the french fries are sitting the, in the oven. Every the, meal they the, offer, the words are they tried a ton adore. of different recipes and learned about all sorts of different food that I never would have tried to cook on my own. Go to HelloFresh.com and use William Osman 16 for 16, 16 free baby. meals across Six, 7 boxes William and 3 16, surprise baby. extras. Like one time they sent me a mini cheesecake. If, if you guys have more of those, I would like, I would like more. My name is Chef. I have literally taken nothing <laughs> off this car, and I can't even find the wrench to do it. 14, 14, where's the 14? Probably a 15, and someone probably has it. Damn it! Sun Tzu Art of War? Is it a 15? No, it's not. It's a 13? Take the resources. Where's the medium-sized wrench? Alan, Alan stole it. All. Alan stole it from our kit. Alan! You can't steal the wrenches from our kit. To get revenge on Alan, I stole his wrench and peed in his Gatorade. Okay, we're back in business. <laughs> no! Holy crap! There's 65 cents in here! And some Moncala beads! What's our goal? What are we pulling off? Uh, Is doors, it everything? Everything we can, right? Go for doors. Doors? Okay. I removed something. <laughs> you did really well, light ups. Keep it up, buddy. I... <laughs> okay, I've been looking at this on the side and panicking the entire time. What the fuck is going on? Am I getting, like, sub botted? Am I rich? Is this infinite money glitch? This has been going on for 10 minutes. I haven't said a word about it because I thought it would stop. It's just... This dead ass been going for 10 minutes. Isn't it the 5 p.m. thing? Yeah, it's 5.07. Oh. I think it stopped.
Okay, cool. Um, they really strong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alan's ripping off the red part. Uh, it seems so haphazard. I can't tell if the goal is most items removed or the least, like the most difference in weight. Like weigh the car before, weigh the car after, but I don't think I weigh the car before. Wants to Maybe weigh the amount of things that they've removed. Remove the metal because it's real heavy. And I think it's a good move. Right now he's using a sawing device. Do we need this? Definitely not. We don't need this. We don't need that. Why is this still there? Eve. Oh, wait. Whoa. Uh. Hey! Oh, we need the license plate. We're going to be driving these cars on city streets, so it's extremely important we don't accidentally remove a critical part. We don't yeah. want to have a run-in with the police. Michael wouldn't last 30 seconds in juvie. We don't want to be driving illegally. We need that. <laughs> okay. You could tell this is filmed pre-fight, because Michael would fucking destroy the kids in juvie. Just kind of wedge it in there. <laughs> Jake and Michael were struggling to remove the door. <laughs> On this one. Oh, yeah, that's But I have a genius solution that I know is going to impress them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that was the most efficient use of time. And, oh. And uh, it, it went worse than I thought. Yeah. Right now, the plan is... This is just them destroying cars for 15 minutes. To turn this into a pickup truck, we've already gotten rid of half of the roof. And I think if we just make a clear cut down the middle here, we'll be able to put lumber in the back seat of this. All right, we got ourselves a pickup truck. Those aren't the brake wires. Oh, you know, it might be. <laughs> be careful. Oh, no, we're good. I think those are the brake light lines right there. Oh, we can try it. Well, I uh, may have cut through the brake light, so now I'm going to figure out how to turn them back on. The red car is no longer street legal now that the brake lights are broken. However, the silver car is quickly transforming into the car of the future. Until Jake made a horrifying discovery. We had accidentally cut through the side airbags and are afraid they might explode. There's an airbag right here and we're all very scared of it. I don't think it'll go off, but I also am not 100% certain with that claim. Side airbags are not mandated in the United States, which means these are just an extra cost being passed off on the consumer to inflate profits. I don't think it's gonna go off. Yeah. Well, there's no power to it. Do my best with a hacksaw. Luckily, we were able to safely remove it using a hammer. Oh, yes! I'm terrified for these people. Yes! But, uh, look, at this is what happens when you take your time and go slow. God, I'm so glad I'm not you guys right now. Well, we can go pick up lunch. You're gonna, you're gonna get us something too, right? They're gonna get us something, right? Items look so sad, right? I've never seen that man so sad in my life. Alan's already spent 45 minutes failing to fix the brake light, so this seems like a perfect opportunity to test our new whip. This shot actually looks perfectly normal. <laughs> this is absurd. <laughs> <laughs> the whole car is gone. What well, seems to be the problem, officer? I love having a nice cold <laughs> air and then cranking the heater, like windows down. Oh off, yeah. Off. Woo! Only a few minutes into the drive, we were already catching the attention of other drivers on the road. I'm not trying to turn fast because Jason fall out the f***ing back. Unfortunately, not every driver on the road was excited to see the future. Oh, oh, film, film. I'm talking about the police. We're, we're f***ing. Oh, oh we're f no! Is he following us? How are we going to get ourselves out of this mess? Look how mad that guy looks. Even our camera crew in the chase car was freaking out, not knowing what to do if we get pulled over, until we realized he was pulling someone else over. What? Yeah! What? Yeah, the police did he not care at all. Protect and serve, baby. Dude, that's crazy. He didn't care at all. This means our prototype is officially. That's crazy. I can't tell if that makes me happy or incredibly disappointed in the police. 
street legal. Now all we have to do is convince someone in the auto industry to endorse our design. And lucky for us, not far from here lives an automotive legend. Someone who understands the importance of innovation. Someone who has amassed a fortune selling cars. Someone who agreed to give us 15 minutes of his time to try and make a deal. Where do we pull in? <laughs> I still don't know how we managed to make this happen, but I haven't been this nervous to talk to somebody since my dad got out of prison. So how much can we sell this bad boy for? Is it worth anything? <laughs> oh, I need a little work, but what, what? You tell me, you need the roof? He needs the door, like the trunk, he needs the hood, the fender. So, no deal? 300 bucks? Even if you pay me a thousand dollars, you take it. Yeah, I guess we should leave now. <laughs> we have done it. We have achieved our goal. By reducing the number of parts on the car, we were able to significantly reduce its price. Technically, the car is worth negative a thousand now. That's pretty good. I would take this car if I was paid a thousand. Let's go buy food. It's a nice day. I would, oh, I'd kill for an hamburger. Let's pull over. Let's go. That audio's Let's terrible. Let's get hamburgers, everybody. Yeah. Drive through? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The only thing more American than buying an overpriced car is a good old fashioned cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Can we get, uh, like just 10 cheeseburgers? Like 10, I, maybe 12. Like a, 12 cheeseburgers? She was professional. She was perfect. She, I would have lost my. F She's not gonna bat an eye, man. Wrong with your car. Yeah. I feel like people who work in fast food have seen way worse shit in this. You gotta imagine how many people they interact with on a daily basis. Okay, this is probably like still top one percent weird, but it's probably not top ten. I conveniently no. forgot my oh. credit card. So. Especially in Los Angeles. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> Okay. Oh. What? What? Yeah, please. Yeah. Dude, imagine she was like, "Are you Michael Reeves?" <laughs> and not concerned at all about the car. Um, like a handful. Yeah, please. Don't let that fall out onto the freeway, Will. Wind in my hair, glass in my ass crack. Hey, what the, what happened? What happened? What are you doing? Oh, God. Oh. Y'all good? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, is, what happened to your car? That wasn't bad at all. We were trying to fix the brake lights, right? But we couldn't find all the wires. So we had to cut into the car to find the wires. And we, we actually hit the fuel line. And so we moved the fuel tank to the front, and so then we had to figure out where the brake line was. So we cut a little bit more, and then we accidentally cut the car in half. We can't drive the car. We won't drive like that. It's a front wheel drive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! It looks like a like a school bus came and just it in half. <laughs> <laughs> Do the turn signals work? Test the turn signals. <laughs> that's got to count. That's got it. That's street legal. It's just a motorcycle. <laughs> Yo, AJ, I want to say not a lot gets by you. A lot of fucking sheep in this chat right now, but I'm, I'm glad there's one top G who actually knows. All right. What he's looking at. Thank you, AJ. We need more AJs in the world. Okay. I want to try. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, Alan. More AJs. Yeah, it really tears ass. I can feel the glass on my butt. Whoa.
Well, I don't. I want to go back to what AJ said earlier. I think when the gas started pouring out of the gas container is when I realized that this was definitely not safe. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Get out. It was sad. Did you see the gasoline spraying up? That's the wiper fluid. Yeah, yeah, that was wiper fluid, Michael. It smell like gasoline. Look at the windshields covered in gas. Hey, come on. You're gonna dent our car. This is brand new. I just bought this car yesterday. Our judge, Dax Flame, is going to pick a winner. I, none of us know who it is yet. Where the fuck did Jax Flame? The red car. Oh, no. no. Oh, this is bullshit. That? Is that the whole video? <laughs> Bad news, everyone. My grandma died. But the good news is she left me this industrial embroidery machine that I now keep in my garage so I can make more clothes for cat warehouse. She's actually not dead. <laughs> She's not gonna find that funny. We got all sorts of stuff. Where's the swim trunks? Where do we put the swim trunks? Swim trunks. Look at he's drowning. I did not laugh too. at that. This hat that we bought with someone else's art on it that then we embroidered our own art onto. The sequel to I'm in debt. I got fired. And we've restocked items that we ran out of long ago. Like everyone's favorite professional shirt. Crabs smoking crack. And there's one special item that I'm not allowed to show you because YouTube will ban me, probably. I don't actually know. It's a hat with a picture of my cat's on it. I'm gonna make another one right now. I think I'm only gonna make like a handful of these because uh, it's really bad. <laughs> no, it ripped again. Drink keeps breaking. God, why, I, I don't, why is this so hard? I have no idea how to use this machine. That's horrible. That's horrible. Dude, the cat asshole one Dude, that is horrible. Holy shit. It, like, if you didn't know what it was and you saw the hat, you'd be like, oh, it's an interesting design. But if you know what it is, it's terrifying. Link? Okay, I don't want to get banned either, so we're going to do a quick drive-by. Ready? <laughs> Skirt. Oh, fuck. There we go. There we go. That uh, that's a hell of a video. It's a hell of a video, William Ozman. Uh, and now it's time, chat. It, it, it literally—I mean, it's five nineteen. We perfect timing that shit. Cause boys, we got we got some fun shit today. Cause we're we're hanging out with the goat. It is going.